Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Swift from Backbench Code. Back with another interesting video. In this video, we're gonna create this beautiful animated landing page using React, Tailwind, and Framer Motion. If you don't know Framer Motion, Framer Motion is a new open source production ready motion library for React on the web. And for me, this is hands down the best animation library in React. This is your documentation. Although I'm sure you're not gonna read this. Okay, stop zoom with enough talk. Let's write the damn code. So I've created this basic Nexus project configured with Tailwind CSS and TypeScript because I love TypeScript. I have also stored the static images in the public folder and created a style file using Tailwind component so that you don't need to watch me writing the CSS. In this video, we will mainly focus on framework motion. However, I will not skip the HTML part. So if you want to skip the HTML or JSX, whatever. If you want to skip the HTML part, I'll put the timestamp in the description box. So please use that. And by the way, guys, you'll find this boilerplate code in my GitHub repo. Or if you are lazy, you'll find this link in the description box. Just copy the link and go to the terminal and run npx create next app with example flag e and then pass the url and then the project name that's it great now let's run the server using npm run dev and this will run the project on localhost 3000 and here it is nothing now before writing any code let's break down the layout first i'd like to talk about what's the plan Phoebe, what do you have a plan i don't even have a plan okay so first of all you can see that we have this header and then we have this text layer and after that, we have this orange juice or orange juice bottle and then we have these leaves. Okay, so total, we need to create five components. One is the header, then the text layer and then the orange bottle and then this leaves container and the last one is the leaf. Okay, so with that, just go to our code editor and create a new component named header.tsx. Good. RAFC, that will give me the boilerplate. Fine. Okay, first of all, create the header with the class name header and then the header logo which is clean juice and then the items which are inside the ul like soft story menu all juices and then the last two elements which are the span and the user okay that's it my header is ready and again guys these classes are coming from this global.css file i've also commented out the section okay now just go to the home page and render this component render this inside a div just render header should be auto imported from component slash header and here it is now let's see mm -hmm, i have this header beautiful now let's create this text layer again we are going to create a new component let's go to a components folder let's name this text container text container.tsx okay so again create a basic functional component in the wrapper div has a class name text container inside a text container i'll create three sections top middle bottom the top section will have a class name text container top and the elements are two span elements find your clean juice and two by four and then the middle element which is the orange the large text and then the bottom element which is the text container bottom and has the button in the paragraph that's it my text container is ready now just go to the home page and render this text container inside the main so text container let's see mm -hmm, i have this text and great now let's render the orange juice can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, we are going to create a new component. So let's go to a components folder. Let's name this bottle container, bottle container.tsx. Okay, RAFC, that will give me the functional component. I'll add a class name on this div, which is bottle wrapper. Cool. And here, I just need to render the image. This image is coming from this public folder named juice.png. Also notice that this component has the absolute position. Great. Now let's go to the home page and here just render this bottle container. Now we have this bottle container. Now it's time to render the leaves. So for that I'm going to create two components. One is the lip that will render the image and then the second one is the leaves container that will hold the leaves. Okay, let's go to the code editor. We have the first component named leaf.tsx and here I'm just going to render the image. I'll also take the class name and the image as the property. So here it is. The class name is basically the position of the element handled by Tailwind. Now just inside a div, render the image. And now just create the last component which is leaves container.tsx. Let's just import the leaf first and then inside the leaves container, just render all the five leaves. Leaf 1, leaf 2, leaf 3, leaf 4, leaf 5. That's it. Again guys, the images are coming from this public folder. Great, now let's render this in the home page. Leaves container, that's it. Let's see. Uh huh. Great. My UI is ready. Now it's time to add the animation. Let's go to the framework motion documentation. 
again guys please hit the documentation scroll down go to a getting started yeah here's a quick start first of all i need to install the framework motion library and then i need to import the motion the motion is the heart of framework motion if you want to animate an html element you need to convert that html element to motion element and how can you convert that really easy just add motion before the element that's it and then you can pass the animate initial however there's a better way which is called variance here is the variance variance are nothing but an object instead of variance you need to specify the states hidden visible exit whatever and then just pass the variance as the variance the scroll down and then we have these gestures and all these stuffs okay let's go back to a code editor and run npm i primer motion that will install the library okay let's first animate the orange text so this will be fading up i'll put all the variants in a variance file let's create a new file named variance.ts variance.ts cool here let's define the fading up export const fading up i'll also add the typescript this is my variance so just add the variance this is nothing but an object cool the initial state the y will be 40 and the opacity will be zero when the animation starts and then when the animation ends the y will be zero and the opposite will be one i'll also add some transition to make this smooth duration 0 0.5 is easy now that's it my variance is ready now let's go to a text container and animate the orange text again first of all i need to convert the div to motion div for that i need to import the motion from framework motion now i can just add motion before the div motion dot now my div is converted to motion div let's add the variance so variance The name of the variance is fading off. Great. Also, you need to pass the initial and the animate. Now, here's a gotcha. You need to pass the state name as a string. Look at this. Initial is a state name, animate is a state name, and here you need to pass this as a string. Based on this initial value, it will grab the initial value from the variance object. Again, same for the animate. The animate as a string. Cool. Now, the elements should be animated. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Okay, now let's animate this header. This will be fade in bottom. You can just go to the variance and duplicate the fade in up and make this fade in down. And the y is minus 60, so minus 60 to 0. But hey, let's follow the dry approach. Remove this. Instead, we are going to create this fade in a function. Okay, that's my function. This function will return the variance. This function will take an argument as a direction. The direction can be either up or down, but the default is up. Okay, now just go to y position. Let's manipulate this. If the direction is up, I'll make the y 40, else minus 60. Good job. Now let's change the fading up value in my orange text. So this will be fading, but this will be a function. Let's call this great. Also remove the fade enough. Fine. Let's go to a header. Let's animate this. Let's convert the nav to motion nav. So motion dot motion should be auto imported from primary motion. Now let's pass the variance. So the variance is fade in, but this time this will be down. And then the initial, which is initial, again as a string, and the animate is animate as a string. Let's just go to a browser and here it is. Cool. And now let's animate the text layer. Let's go to the final version, refresh the page, and look at the animation guys. This is called stagger animation. Every element is animating after a certain delay. Let's look at this again. 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically after a certain delay, it is getting the fade in up effect. Now to create this type of animation, we need to animate the parent element. Let's see. So just go to a code editor, and go to a variance, and now create a new variance named stagger container. Export con stagger container. As an object at the variance type script inside the initial this will be nothing but inside the animate i'll put the transition here i'll just add the stagger children 0.5 it means the first child will animate at 0 second and then the second child after 0.5 second and then the third child after 0.15 second and then the fourth child after 0.20 seconds okay that's the idea of stagger children 
okay with this let's go to a container let's go to a wrapper div and convert the div to motion div because this is my parent and then let's pass the variance so variance is tagger container also pass the initial which is initial animate is animate good job and now let's add the variance on the child element so span motion dot span let's pass the variance this is fade in up effect so fade in let's call the function let's also pass the initial and animate and now look at this refresh the page and hey something is wrong my element is getting animated but everything is happening at once the problem is if the element parent has a stagger animation in that case in the children you don't need to pass the initial and the animate value okay this will basically take the value from the parent element also notice that in the orange text we have not removed the value initial and the animate why because this orange element is not part of the stagger animation yeah look at this we have the stagger effect also let's animate the other children so motion dot button and the motion dot p also add the variance this is fading let's call the function let's see one two three four but we have a problem and that is the first element is animating immediately we don't want that we need to add some delay so let's go to the variance again variance and here we can pass delay children refresh one two three four beautiful again great and now let's animate the juice can look at the animation the bottle is falling from the top and then we have another animation which is top and bottom top and bottom look at this basically we need to create two animations one when the bottle drops from the top and the second one is to constantly move the bottle so again just go to variance let's create bottle wrapper at initial state the y is minus 1000 out of the screen and then in the animate state the y is zero really simple just add some transition mm -hmm. delay is 2.6 again experimental value let's also add the duration 0 0.8 and the type is spring it's a part of physics anyway just go to a bottle container and animate this so div motion dot div motion should be imported from primer motion and now just pass the variance so variance this is bottle wrapper cool just pass the initial initial is the initial and the animate is animate really easy syntax right just go to a browser and look at this now let's add the second animation so again we are going to create new variant at the initial state nothing but inside the animate state i'll put the keyframe so why from 30 to 0 to 30 this is how you can create keyframe in primer motion let's also add some transition so duration 1.6 the aging function is linear also set the animation count to infinity so repeat infinity and now just go to a bottle image and let's animate the image the motion dot image pass the variant name initial and the animate now let's look at this I have an animated bottle and by the way guys you can remove this initial and animate from child element if you have set this in the parent element so here I can remove this fine it will still work so refresh one two three four bottle drop and animation beautiful and now let's animate the leaves okay again the same animation look at the stagger effect here I need to create three animations one for the stagger effect the second one is to drop the leaf the third one is to move the leaf okay let's do it let's go to variance and here first one is leaves container the initial is nothing but the animate i'll just add the stagger animation so transition stagger children 0.2 dual children 3 also add the variant for the leaf wrapper the initial minus 800 so out of the screen animate state this is y0 the transition duration 0.4 the aging function is spring. Let's animate this. Go to a lip container. It's a parent element, so I need to add the stagger effect. So motion.div. Motion should be imported from primer motion. And now the variance. This is lips container. Just pass the initial and the animate. It is animate. Beautiful. Now just go to a leaf. One button div to motion div. Fine. Just add the variance variance is the leaf wrapper yeah look at this refresh beautiful 
We press again. Now we need to add a second animation on the leaf. Again, just go to variance file. This will be really simple. Again, as you can guess, we need to add the keyframe. So 20 to 0 to 20. A transition. Again, the delay of 2 seconds. The duration of 1 second. Each function is linear. The number of times of the animation is infinity. Okay. Got it. Just go to leaf.tsx and convert the image to motion image. Also add the variance. The variance is leaf. Yeah, save this, go to the browser and refresh the page. Mm -hmm -hmm. Four, drop, drop. Yeah, good. My leaf is animating, but there is a problem, and that is the animation speed is same. That's why the animation looks odd, right? So let's vary the animation. So for that, in Primer Motion, you can pass another value which is called custom. Look at this, you can pass a custom value as a property, and then Inside the visible, instead of creating an object, you need to create a function. The function will get the custom value. Using the custom value, you can vary the animation. Okay, let's do it. Just go to variance, convert the animate to a function. I'll get the i, the i is the number. And here, I'll just return an object. Beautiful. And then the duration, this will be 1 into i. If the i is 1.5, the duration will be 1.5. If the i is 9, the duration will be 9. If the i is 69, the duration will be 69. Now just go to leap.tsx and here I can grab another property which is animation speed. Let's name this animation speed. And then we can pass the animation speed as custom. So custom animation speed. Now let's pass the animation speed in my leaves container. This is the leaves container. Let's grab all the leaf. And pass animation speed. The so first one is 1.8, second one is 1.6, third one is 1.5, fourth one is 1.7, the fifth one is 1.9. Now the animation speed will be different. Let's see. Okay, just go to the browser, refresh the page. Hmm. Lovely. And look at this. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. If you have enjoyed this, if you have learned anything new, please let me know. And if you are new to this channel, I make videos on web development and web designing. So if it somehow sounds interesting, somehow please hit the red cute button, please.